Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching. If you're new here, my name is Maria. I do DIYs, hauls, reviews. And if you love to craft and do budget-friendly home decor, I would love if you subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified every time I upload. In today's video, I will be doing two beautiful home decor. One of them, you can use it two different ways. Both of these are Wayfair inspired. My first DIY will be this beautiful wood crate planter. I'm going to show you two different ways you can use this. To make this beautiful planter, you're going to need six paint sticks i got these from lowe's 10 come in a pack for just one dollar and from dollar tree i'm going to use four of these wood pallets and if you want to hang it you're gonna need some juice string and a shower curtain ring i'm going to start off by removing all the stickers from all the wood pallets This planter is so easy and simple to do, but before I start gluing it, I'm going to just arrange it how I want it to go. Then I'm going to start gluing it using hot glue. You can use wood glue so it can be more sturdy, but since I am not adding anything heavy, I'm only using hot glue. To make the bottom piece for my planter, I'm going to use six paint sticks. I'm going to cut them to the size of the planter. Then I'm going to glue them to the crate using hot glue. This time I will not be using my antique wax. I'm going to use this with stain and I didn't show you the clip because I did go outside and do it and it was already late at night when I did this. But yeah, all I did was stain it and this is how it turned out. And that is it for this planter. All I'm doing is adding some boxwood greenery I got from Walmart. I absolutely love how this turned out so you can use it like this and if you want to hang it all you need is some juice string and a shower ring. I'm going to tie a piece of juice string on each corner so depending on the greenery and how high you want this to hang it's how long you're gonna cut the strings. All 
all I did to the shower ring was add juice string all around it. Then I added the greenery to the planter. Once I was done doing that, I grabbed all four strings and then tied them to the shower ring. When I was tying all the strings to the ring, I noticed that they were too short. So because they were too short, I was only able to do one knot. So in order to secure this, I added some more juice string at the bottom. And that is it for this beautiful hanging planter. My second DIY is this beautiful love decorative sign wall. For this DIY, I will be using some Dollar Tree wire jute core. This 8x10 canvas and things I'm going to reuse are this love little sign and this wood picture frame I got from Michaels a while back. I have used these in some previous DIYs. And for the greenery, I will be using this boxwood greenery I got from Walmart. The first thing I will be doing is removing the paper and the canvas from the frame. And because the frame is bigger than the picture frame, I'm going to cut this. I couldn't find anything as big as the 8x10 frame that I wanted to use. And I really, really like this Michaels wood frame. I really wanted this to look more high end so that's why I am cutting the frame into the size of the other frame. Did that make sense? I think. <laughs> anyway, so I did have to cut it several times to make it to the right size. I'm going to stain the wood frame part first before I glue it and I'm using the same wood stain I used in my first DIY. I didn't show you the process of me staining this because I did stain it the same time I stained my first DIY and it was dark and yeah, so I had to go do it outside. So I left this dry overnight and then I'm going to use some wood glue to glue them together. And this is how it looks all nice and dry. So I thought once I attached them together, you weren't going to see where I attached them. Well, at least not a lot, but you can tell a lot. In order to hide that more, I added some antique wax and a little bit of black paint. And this did do the trick because the frame looks more rustic and old. I added some of the wood stain to the lines to this frame. Then I'm going to add some white acrylic paint. Because I wasn't careful, I accidentally went over the lines. So I'm going to go over them again with a small paintbrush. And I added some antique wax this time, not the stain. I then used the same paintbrush to distress it a little bit and I didn't let the lines dry so like that the paintbrush can pick up a little bit of the brown paint and it can distress it like this. Now I'm going to add the wood frame and just in case you were wondering why this frame has this back piece 
is because I did re I am reusing this. I used this in a trash to treasure and I added a back piece to it. So that's why it has this back piece. But anyways, once I am done doing that, I'm going to make the little wreath. Using the wire jute core, I'm going to make a circle. Then I grab some of the boxwood greenery and remove some of the stems off and then glue them to the circle or the wreath. I know I usually don't glue the wreaths to my signs, but this time I did. And the last thing I will be doing is gluing the love sign in the center of the wreath. And that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and see you next time. Bye.